was fast love. Love at first sight, some would say. Get him downstairs! Mm -hmm. Hello, lover. I know this is a little different from what I'm used to doing, but I love Halloween almost as much as I love horror. I can't believe I got my first Halloween present in May. It's wonderful. So let's go build this bad boy. If you aren't familiar with this animatronic, it is new for 2024 for Halloween from Home Depot. They did a halfway to Halloween release in late April and that's when I was able to pre-order it or order it and I only just got it in, but it is only May, so that's pretty cool. It retails for $279.99 and I did shipping to the store because the shipping to home was like $50 and that's crazy. That's crazy. So I just went and picked it up at my local Home Depot to save myself a big chunk of change there. It is an officially licensed Universal Monsters, Frankenstein's monster, so there's that. Although you really wouldn't know from the box. So here's the box. There's no decorations on it, but I have heard that if you get it in the store, there will be decorations on the outside of it. It's not that big, actually. It's like, almost 27 inches long and 16 inches high. I'm really good with this cheap tape measure. And 22 inches wide, so it's not too bad. It is also a little over 30 pounds, pretty compact. I don't think I'll ever fit it back in this box, but that's irrelevant. If you weren't able to get one then, or you didn't even know that they released them then, there will be another release in July. And so you should be able to get some then, because these sold out the same day they were released, along with all of the other things that they put out for their halfway to Halloween release. This is the only thing I was able to get. I am a huge Frankenstein's monster fan, but when I saw the leaked photos of this, I was, eh, a little less than impressed. But I did know that this contains the same servo elements as their 2023 THD 3000, which I also have, and it's very cool. So I think those photos aren't exactly the way that it looks. I think that that was for their manager's release or something. So they kind of, they, I feel like it's greatly improved from then. So I guess we'll find out. It's time to open him now. See if he, uh, meets my expectations. I have my handy dandy box cutter right here. Should be lime green now. Get that reference? Bet you do. Okay. Oh, also never use a box cutter toward you like I'm doing. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? Okay. Okay, so we got it open. And now, whoa. Uh, so inside, on this inside flap, it has instructions. They did the same thing for the 12 foot skeleton, which is actually kind of cool because I guess they're assuming you're gonna throw away the instructions that are inside the box, but keep the box. I throw away the instructions inside the box and usually throw away the box because I'm super good at this stuff. So this is like the Cliff Notes versions of the instructions that they probably think you're gonna keep which you probably should keep if you decide to keep the box. I usually, I keep my animatronics up all the time, so I never put them away or put them in a box, so. So I usually don't like having a big box around to just, you know, take up space. Here's the instructions. So, as it turns out, we have a box within a box, which is kind of weird. I don't know why we would have that, but that that's fun. That's fine. That's what the box cutter is for. So box within a box. Ta 
That's pretty simple. Okay. And we have the handy dandy instructions, the actual instructions, the real instructions. And see, it does have a universal logo there. So, oh, actually, this isn't really all that different from what is on the outside of the box because they're mainly pictures. So now it's time to get building. I think I have enough room. This thing is supposed to be seven foot tall, which I am not even close to being. So this should be interesting for me to put it together, but we're going to do, we're gonna accomplish this. Okay. <laughs> it's starting out super well, right? Okay, so, assuming the base. Oh, oh my. Sometimes it's best just to pull all the pieces out and kind of set them out and look at it. That, that might be the best for you. I just like to wing it for some reason because I want to make sure that I can make it as difficult as possible for myself at some point during this build, if you can call it a build. Wait, don't remove this foam. Don't remove this foam. It's part of the figure, as I was about to remove it. Sometimes with animatronics, they put that on like the arms or the legs, so it gives it a little bit of bulk, you know, when you put on the clothes. I'm glad I read that. But I, did, I didn't remove anything, it's just, it's just empty foam. I bet you, you add something to it, I'm sure that's, I'm sure it's fine. Okay. I'm not very organized here. Getting stressed out. Don't get rid of the box cutter just yet because I had to cut some, what are those things called? What are those things called? What things? The things that, that I had to cut, that how we had to cut off. Zip ties, that, those are in here. So you have to use this to cut them off. <laughs> Zip ties. I knew that. Easy peasy. It looks super cool. Looks way better than I thought. And this is like, I think it's silicone. I think it is silicone, which is great. It's very, very cool feeling. And he looks sweet. Look at him. It, isn't that neat? He had, okay, so like it looks pretty sweet. This is this is like plastic, which is interesting. So that's like plastic. I mean, his hair, he could use a restyle on his hair, I'm not gonna lie, but it's not too bad. Like, I could probably thicken that up too with, cause they've got some like sewn in wefts there. That's, that's precious. Um, yeah, like I might do that. I might fix up his hair, make it a little bit, a little bit nicer, thicken it up a bit. Huh, Frankie? What do you think about that? Here's the cool hands and these are plastic as well. They look pretty good though. Like, they're pretty nice looking. I mean, he's got his nails painted, so that's hot but yeah, it's big. It's like, it's gonna take like my whole head. Can you lend me? Ugh, that was bad. So then we have this piece, which looks like it's some sort of piece 
for the bulk, obviously. And then it shows you how like the motor somehow and goes in there some somewhere. We'll figure it out. I'm not worrying. I've done this before. I know it looks like I have it, but I, I've, I've done it quite a few times. For the most important piece, which is the mechanics of it all. So I'm gonna be very careful with this. Oh, it's cool, actually. So if you can see here, you can set it to the sensor, to a step pad, that's probably for the in-store stuff, and then lights only, which is actually pretty cool. And then it's got a volume control as well. Good. Sometimes that loud stuff gets super annoying. I'm very sensitive to sounds and lights and touch and everything. <laughs> okay. Clothes, which we'll check those out. And then this should be the plug probably. Yeah, this is the adapter for the mechanics. So now we get to start the fun part. Now we have this highly organized pile of Frankenstein's parts. <laughs> And now we're going to get to play Dr. Frankenstein and put him together. See the shoes and the shoes go through here and then they have this little slot for a little notch right here in the metal. So that's pretty simple. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Not too bad, not too shabby. Pretty simple. There you go. Oops. And uh, where's the knot? Oh. Is it in? Yep, got that. Cool. That are part of the legs. And would go as such. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I know I should be looking at the instructions, but sometimes it's just easier just to kind of, you can kind of see how they fit together. It's, it's not that difficult. If I can do it, you can do it. We do have these pieces to put on. So while they didn't have something in them when they arrived, they will have something now. So this one seems like. Just thickening up his legs. All right. This is a little bit wild and maybe a little bit uncomfortable because he is already quite tall compared to me. Next is his pants. Okay, so the clothes, interestingly enough, pretty typical for, you know, something of this sort. It feels like that super duper cheap costume fab, and actually it feels cheaper than costume fabric. Maybe I'll make him some more clothes. I mean, that wouldn't be too difficult. And then next would be essentially his hips. Obviously it's gotta be this, come on. Okay, so I should look, but I don't need to look. <laughs> I should look, but come on. It can only go one way when you have the little snap-ins here. All right, got some hips. Yup. So we've got his hips, but then we've got this that will actually give him the added width. So you, you know, put this on and then you put this pin and it keeps it from like, you know, coming out. That's basically it. Next is, you know, the important piece. You plug the adapter in, right, right here, right there, and then, the seats right there. Very simple. Actually, I normally run this down the pant leg. Next is this plastic chest piece. You're going to like unscrew 
these pieces and then insert them into the shoulders there and screw them back on. I'm doing a really good job of telling you. So I should point out that in the head, there is a cable that you pull out. This is where you'll attach it to the rest of the body. And this is what you will connect to the chest motorized piece. And after you stick that in, you will tighten this screw to make sure that it's really strong and fastened onto the body. So now it's time to put on the head. It says you wanna make sure that that is fully seated before you screw this. So to kind of test this, you can kind of try to lift his head up, which it shouldn't come out like at all. So you've probably done a good job at that point. So you've got the black one from the head and then the black one from the body. And those two connect as such. Next is his top. It has the sensor clearly marked. So you wanna make sure that you don't, you know, block that. So, and take the sticker off too. That always goes toward the front and then the back is fully Velcroed. So it's easy to put on. Some Velcro right here. And this should connect to this, which makes the sensor work, obviously. And of course, the last two pieces are the arms and the hands, and these are very simple. They just slip in through the armholes and connect at the shoulders. And we're done. He's actually really awesome. He's so much more awesome than I anticipated. One of my favorite things about him is that his face is like silicone. It is amazing. It is, it feels so cool and so lifelike. The nose is a squishy little nosy. It's a squishy, it's a squishy. Okay, I'm probably gonna piss him off. I will say there are some things that I would improve. But I get it, like honestly the price is high and it seems high, it's not high for what he is. I would and I might improve the hair. I might add some more wefts here and like make it a little bit thicker. And the clothing, I definitely wanna do something about the clothing, because the clothing is really cheap. But I'd rather pay less and do my own clothing, then it'd be out of my price range completely. So I'm fine with that, I can sew, I can make something super cool whenever I get around to it. And the problem is I usually wind up taking a while. I'm probably going to paint the shoes or do something with the shoes because I'm not, not loving the shoes either. But honestly, 
This Frankie is awesome. I love the way he moves. I love his eye movements. Those eye movements are killer. The arms are great. The size is great. He's a very, very cool piece and he's huge. I have no idea where I'm gonna put him. I mean, he's pretty big. So since I keep him out all the time, I'm definitely gonna have to find a place of promise for him. I just don't know where that's gonna be yet. The sound is great too. I love the sound. I love the sound and the sound with the lights and the background noises, cause he really just grunts, but they have these cool background noises, you know, like the villagers and Dr. Frankenstein. So the one thing about the servo and that you should know is that you can hear it. I'm sure you can hear it on the video. I'm sure my mics would pick it up without the sound on. You can hear it. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, this is a $300 animatronic versus several thousand dollars for an animatronic. So kind of to be expected. But when you have the sound up, let's see. I'm sorry, I just gotta get back here for a minute, boy. Look out! I am a quickly! Get him downstairs. He's awesome. He's beautiful, right? Those eyes, the eyes, the eyes are where it really gives him life. I do kind of wish that his eyes were lit up from behind just to be able to see it, for, but this is more realistic. So, I mean, that's cool too. I truly think he exceeded my expectations. I definitely recommend him. And I know I called him Frankie throughout this, but whatever, y'all be strong. I know it's Frankenstein's monster. You know it's Frankenstein's monster. Are you planning on getting anything from Home Depot for Halloween? What do you think of my new boyfriend Frankie here? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I really do hope that you have the most amazing day, my spooky darlings. I want to thank all of my Patreon members who are supporting me and supporting the channel. Thank you so very, very, very much. I love you dearly, and you are really my spooky darlings. Chris Mizzic Tino, Jimmy Horror, Eddie, Janie McLaren, Jose Reyes, Phil Smith, Jim Kemmerling, Mickey B and Deal Demon. Perfection, darling. Truly. Your performance was incredible. Far superior to my own. I tend to talk to inanimate objects as if they're real. I don't know why. It's just a thing for me. I can't find your off button. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is kind of an old blade, actually. I know we just replaced it, but I use it a lot for stuff. I need better jokes. My jokes are dumb. I'm not the writer, I'm the delivery person. Oh man, I just ripped off your arm, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. So sorry. I love Halloween. It's monster. You bet your sweet bippy you're a monster. You.